Tim Lask is here. I want to talk a little bit about sacrifice. What is it that you're willing to sacrifice for success? Either as an athlete or as an entrepreneur, you're going to have to sacrifice something in order to be successful. A lot of times our drive is because we think we're going to gain something, either by being a professional athlete, thinking of all the money that we're going to make, all the sponsors, the notoriety, the fame, everything that comes along with that. However, the journey in getting to that point where you have that level of success, whether it's money or anything else, the houses, the cars, you name it, it's going to take sacrifice in order to get there. And a lot of people don't see that. And once they finally kind of come to the idea of, wow, I'm going to have to give up the little bit that I have now, either my time or even spending money. A lot of times it takes money to be successful. And they just give up and they say, well, I'll probably never make it anyway, so I might as well stop because I'm not willing to sacrifice what I have in order to obtain something greater. And so that sacrifice is what a lot of people can't get over. And starting a business and wanting to be your own boss, be an entrepreneur and live that entrepreneur lifestyle, we're driven initially by all the notoriety, the fame, the flashy cars, the watches, the vacations, the parties, whatever it is that goes along with that. That initially is kind of the hook. And people are like, yeah, I want that lifestyle. But then they realize it's gonna take a little while to get to that point where you have that level of success. And as soon as they start to experience a level of uh-oh, I'm going to have to give up time with friends. I'm not going to be able to go to the movies. I'm not going to have the money to be able to go out to a restaurant, to P.F. Chang's or wherever that you, you typically like to go because you're going to have to cut corners in order to have a successful business, especially if you don't have a lot of funding. And most entrepreneurs are self-funded, and so they're just scraping by, they're just taking scraps here and there, and they're trying to make something big and make something big happen with the little that they have. And it's a difficult journey, but you must be able to sacrifice in order to reap the rewards of success. And a lot of the professional motocross athletes that I work with, they give up a lot, and they've done it for years. They're continually training, they're very strict in their diets. They're having to ride all the time. And when they're not on the bike, they're in the gym. And when they're not on the gym, they're probably on their road bike or their mountain bike, or they're running, or they're thinking about the race, they're planning. When then they're sleeping. They don't have time to go to the movies. They don't have time to do the things that their friends are doing. They sacrifice a tremendous amount in order to have that level of success. And many people never make it because they cannot sacrifice their time or their freedom for the moment in order to have something in the future. And so that's called delayed gratification. And delayed gratification is a difficult concept for a lot of people. We live in a society where we want immediate rewards. We want immediate satisfaction from whatever it is we do. And that's not what you get when you're on your journey to becoming a professional athlete or becoming an entrepreneur. You will have to sacrifice. And so it's the skills that you learn along the way and learning to cope with sacrifice, learning to deal with feeling down, feeling isolated, because all your friends are out doing the things that they typically do and you're not there. And if you start to think about that, then you start to focus on what am I missing out with my friends? What am I missing out with other people my age, going to parties and doing things? What am I missing out? 
once you start asking those questions to yourself, it can be a vicious cycle and then you spiral out of control. And then the negative mindset starts to take place. And then you start to say, well, maybe I won't be successful. Maybe I'll never make it. Maybe this is a waste of time. I'm missing out on all this fun with my friends. For what? Maybe I won't make it. And then you start to listen to the naysayers. You start to listen to the haters. And their voice starts playing in your head. Oh, you'll never make it. You'll never do that. You'll never be successful. And those voices can get easily trapped in your mind. And then they start to creep up on you. And then before you know it, you start to slip a little. And you're not as strict as maybe you were in the beginning. And then you start doing some of the things that aren't beneficial for you as, a, as an athlete or for you as an entrepreneur. And so my goal for you is to learn to deal with sacrifice. And I'm gonna have another video to talk about some of the mindset strategies that you can use in order to overcome those days where you're starting to get down, you're starting to get negative. And that way it'll get you through those moments and get you back on top again, okay? And until next time, take care.